Fine with that. I just want information. Just tell me. Stop hugging. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The lucky pawn? The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. Who's I Jersey? To do. I'm guessing they're talking about the Jersey I Devil. That's the only thing I can think of. Have you, you seen the crooked man? Did you ever see the crooked man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But come on, it's his place. I didn't know that till Devil never yeah, lets you forget. Jersey Devil. <laughs> I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. Oh crap. I guess he's hit hard times too. Mary oh, ho, ho, that's that's where I it came from. I thought like what he gave it to her or something. It's like what? Sometimes fables just don't have anywhere else to go. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place? I actually should have said I only care about my investigation. People sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money, you don't have. Well, that's over now. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the lucky pawn. Well. <sighs> if I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Maybe I'll find there. Crane or something, too. Sounds like too. you're just going to get beauty in trouble. And... You want to get another fight? And think so. You know that butcher shop, the cut above. It's the place on Tubman Street, same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man, and I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. This, yeah. yeah, yeah. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. You never opened up a box this. or something? It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit once. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still Yeah, you do their dirty work for God's sakes. Work, especially not where she was. Or quit. It's up to me to take care of her. Well, you're done working there. If you want my help, this is over. Yeah, of course. Of, of course. I sort of want to go to the Lucky Pawn first, to though. Provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Oh! Fuck. Off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? I just like telling people to, I just like telling people to fuck off. Oh, I'd like honest. to know where it's coming from. They got this nice-ass place. They've got probably one of the top five apartments in the entire Fable Town. We're going to Lucky Pawn. Screw the butcher shop. Lucky Pawn! I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. Too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be Not if I left keep... to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Word from coming out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you want, money? What do you mean? Well... Maybe you can make this all just go away. You want me to We would really appreciate it. Kill him. What do you say? Can you help us out? You want me You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? No, of 
course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. You better be indebted to me. I mean, after all this, after after Beauty trying to lie to me, and me having to tell the truth to Beast, and then Beast beating the crap out of me, and me beating the crap out of him more than it is ridiculous. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. What the hell is this? A pile of garbage. Jack, why are you? I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? Whoa. Big B's here. Yeah, where's your... Oh, I don't even care. I'm gonna go on Toad's right. business. Sheriff, why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used mule skin coat? Because it's magic mule skin, that's why. And it's not even mule it's skin. Pretty, it's donkey skin. It's pretty good. Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So ah, what's it gonna be? Finder's Keepers, eh? Playing on that rule. Tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I, I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witch's didn't charge This is oh, I don't. Set with, with this yeah, I don't do any of that. What are you complaining to him for? Give me a break, Toad. This is your own damn fault. You buy a car, but you don't save money for this. And what yeah, that's serious. Go, right? Let's talk about that. Smash to a tin can because you had to play rough with the wood. You asked me to help with that. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. I'm gonna take this freaking jacket. And you're gonna have nothing. Not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be. Since his old bleeding operations just a set up for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running in? The lot. People stop so you can peddle his shit. I yeah. Shit. Up. I know who you're talking about. Um, Og Frey? The crooked man, right? This is his place. I already got that information. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk How did that just magically go off glamour, like that? Toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? It's not like I've got a lot of options. Oh, like hell I'm giving him money. I told you, leave just the coat. Just do what I fucking say, alright? Leave the coat, find another way. Fine, I'm leaving. But I'm taking the coat. I said, Toad. leave if you're the coat. Out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? <laughs> Have a good day. Is that his middle finger? <laughs> Is he leaving the Drop coat? By anytime. Flip him off. Eh, fuck you too. <laughs> really gross. <laughs> I told him leave the coat. Why didn't he leave it? Came to gloat. Since you had to go and tell on me, I got eight weeks work detail from Snow. She has me fixing leaky pipes. Like I even know what a C-clamp is. And before you ask, I've never seen the Crooked Man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We... Never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? Yay. The woodsman's axe? Uh, yay. I don't, know uh, I don't want to say that, because that will lead her back to beauty, and beauty will, like, die or something. What about, get me the manager. Where's the manager? Where's the manager? 
Why isn't he here? Maybe I'm the manager. You ever think oh, like that? hell. No, you aren't. So where is he? I don't know. I don't keep tabs. Isn't that right the now. knife He's that Prince Lawrence had? Right he stabbed himself it. with? I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh... A long -ass conversation I'd really rather you here. not physically be here if he comes back. You know? He's not what I'd call a friendly fellow. I want to check stuff out here first. Yeah. If this is a crooked man place, maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. <laughs> if the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm going to take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Let's go smashing up display Don't cases. Get in your way. I won't. Oh, there's a lot of this. Oh, yeah, this is the dagger that Prince Lawrence had. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. I knew it. Dagger. I knew Did it. Did he sell this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so uh, who cares, really? How can you not know who pawned it? I'm not here every day. And Do you have I records or something? Dump boxes of shit. What does it matter? You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? Yeah, you're be <laughs> You and Grin and Toad, you're all better off than you think. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. You don't know the day I had. I got shot at least 20 times. From Crane's apartment. Maybe, I don't know. You didn't go back over there and swipe it. I swear. On Toad's life. Uh, that's not really worth much to me, but okay. The goblet? What the heck is that? It means nothing. A random display case. Recent acquisition. Where there is cleaving X. What? I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Where the hell is uh, it? Uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... <laughs> You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Bigby. That wasn't. Jack was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't. Jack, I'm sick of these freaking lies. Oh yeah, so, uh, yeah. And even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Uh, what happened to the axe? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Fucking jeez, take it easy. It was Mary. She took it. Okay. That's all I know. That's all you know. You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes into- Where does she up. live? She probably lives in like a mirror or something. Sometimes it's for the crooked man. But I'm smart enough to not ask questions, alright? She say anything about- About the crooked man's plans. About Crane? What? You think we're friends? I try not to even look that crazy chick in the eye. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. Can I punch him again? Time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. The hell is this? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your axe so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Gren said that he saw it. Hiya, fellas. Tell me where it is right fucking now. I think what oh, yeah, this is, is, is what we should keep demands to a minimum. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is his you... axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I wouldn't be happy. I mean, I'd, I'd be pissed. And you? I can't believe you'd even show your face in here after what you did. To Jack's just time. looking like what the heck's gonna happen? Or get the fuck out. Uh, he wanted to know where. Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. Wait, we're not finished yet. Yes, we are. You're dealing with me now, okay? Until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. How's your arm? 
Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? This guy's friggin' pushing his luck. This very morning, Bigby's joined the crooked man's obedience school for wayward fucking creatures. He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? With the crooked for a day. His bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over just like that. I'm uh, just gonna uh, let you two, you know. The crooked man. Uh, I, I, I sort of rather want to know everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Oh, see you, Jack. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna. Oh. You piece of shit. Can I just not restrain anyone? I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. I was just gonna let him fight for a little bit. Try you backwards, you fuckwit. Oh, big talk. You won't be talking when I'm done with you. Yeah. I'll be laughing. Ah, ah. Okay, I was just saying Woody. I don't really care. Woody. We don't need the business office involved in this shit. Don't I piss me off. My axe. Anyone, and I mean anyone. What's wrong with you? Why would I ask him that? There's something else coming to him. Woody, trust me, you don't want to go there. Just stay out of my way, all right? You just get your axe and leave. Holy! Oh my God! I'm gonna watch it for a little bit. He's rubbing his eyes. Just let him keep going. Uh oh! Holy crap! Oh god! That's not. That's not okay. Um. He's got some sort of grayish blue body. Some deer head. Crap, some antlers. I'm pretty sure I saw the handle of that. Yeah, there's the axe right there. Look at that. I'm gonna murder you. And go. I don't want to deal with this. Seriously. Oh crap, I'm gonna cl- Doors closed, motherfucker. Oh, oh shit. Never mind. Never mind. Oh crap. Don't want to get killed here. I'm gonna punch. Oh, I thought I was gonna miss there for a second. Oh, I'm going for a second one. Holy hell. Oh crap. Uh, oh crap. What, am I gonna break off his antler or something? What the hell is this? Oh god. Oh. oh. I didn't hear him say fuck you at all there, but whatever, man, I do ah, oh, I didn't hear me say that either, but you know, I don't really care that much. Okay, I guess I'm going to rip off his scully head or something, I don't know. What is he going to do? No! <laughs> You serious? He's still gonna do this and everything. Oh, oh, fucking anvil! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it! Oh my god! Wow. I like that axe, though. I mean, I'll oh, kill him after I get some information. First one's my information, then... So, yeah. wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots. Behind the sun. In the... <coughs> Stop with the freaking haikus and poems. Not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You like teleports or something? Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. So that's what I gotta use, I that guess. Fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Oh, fucking shit. I can't use the magic mirror right now. Oh no? 
Why not? Because I just can't, that's why. You don't know anything about anything, do you? Well, uh... I mean, I got my apartment and Colin and Buffkin. Broken fucking mirror. No fucking. Oh fuck you. The next thing you say better be something useful. Just bring the axe right back down. What you fucking do? You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. His skull is pretty messed up, though. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can oh crap, is the piece there? Piece there? I can find the no. There. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh. oh. He ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me. Come back here and finish the job. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Well, I guess we're going to the the cut above. Hey, sheriff. What the hell is he gonna say? Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did. It's not worth listening to this, actually, because I remember listening to hear him out, so I'm going to shut him up. Because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So I'm going to shut him up. Just shut the fuck up, will ya? Out of smoke? No. <laughs> Fresh out. I should have hit you with this thing. Do you see me? I'm a wreck. Shitty brand anyway. It is pretty crappy. From what I hear, I mean, and everyone says it's horrible. I should just pull out another one. Jersey was wrong. You know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Hey, that is all I'm doing. Believe me, it's all I've been doing this whole damn time. All right, we'll go do it then. It's just sort of hard, you know. I mean, wait, was that the trip trap right there? Is oh, wait, am I gonna say something to him or something? You gonna be okay? What's next for you? See you around. I just get in the cab. Screw him. I don't want to say anything to him. It's the same freaking. Look at this guy. It's the same. It's the same. The cab driver. It's the same dude. I've seen him like twenty times in this game. Who the hell is he? I never noticed that before. I want to freaking know now. Who the heck is this guy?